the Yi Xiang do-it-yourself battery case with the uh, EVE LF 280K batteries delivered by Yi Xiang as well. And remember, we have tested four of these batteries for capacity and um, charge and discharge curve, I would say, and have compared them. And two of the cells, number two and number six, had a bit of a strange voltage curve while charging. So the voltage in these cells actually rose quicker than in the other cells we have tested. And this was something we have not seen before with other cells we have tested. And I compared these two strange cells with all the other cells we have tested here, all the other EVE LF280K batteries, certified, B crate from different manufacturers. And still these two, they were rising in voltage quite early, much earlier than all the other cells we have tested. And we couldn't make any sense out of this. Our friend from up north, he said, well, he has seen this before with brand new cells when they have never been cycled before. So the test was to put all these cells into the do-it-yourself battery box from Yixiang and cycle them a few times. And this is exactly what I have done now. Um, I think the battery is close to 95% now and we will fully charge it again. And I have the Home Assistant Batmon integration connected via Bluetooth to this battery to collect the data of all the cells individually so we can have a look at the last oh, probably two weeks or so, charging, discharging this battery, partly charging it and can see if we can discover any weird behavior with cell number two and cell number six. And as I have shown you before, I created this simple dashboard here in Home Assistant for exactly the Yishi Yang do-it-yourself battery. Shows us the overall battery voltage, the current into the battery, the state of charge, the balance current, as well as the voltage delta across all the 16 cells. We can see the highest cell voltage is at 3.4 volts now. It is cell number five. And the lowest is at 3.4 volts as well. I probably should change this one so we see um, I should probably change the precision here to three digits. Now it makes more sense when we see four millivolt deviation here and we can see all three digits after the decimal point. But before we get really into it, welcome back to the Offred Garage guys. Welcome back to another show. I'm getting in trouble if I don't show you this guy. Well, it is the same as yesterday and the same as the day before yesterday. 125, 130 amps consistently over noon. And we have recharged the battery to 53% now, still charging with 19 amps outside. Yeah, it is still nice, sunny and warm outside. And also welcome to all these new subscribers, which have brought up this number to 94,829. I um, still have only one nine. So um, thank you very much, guys. All right, but now back to the video. So over here we have our battery cells, one to 16, and down here we've got the graph for the last 24 hours, showing the voltage of all these 16 individual cells. And from this perspective, everything looks good. Okay, let's zoom into the last six hours since this morning and have a look at all these voltage curves. You can see here in the morning, voltage is rising, battery is almost full. And then I slowed down the process by paralleling another battery. That's why the voltage dropped again, because I wasn't ready for this video. I did some other stuff in the garden this morning. And then obviously this other battery charged up and the voltage still keeps rising. And then just before I started this video here altogether, I turned off this other battery again. Voltage jumps, we are at 3.4 volts. But here, as you can see, all these different colors for the maximum, minimum cell, it is all changing constantly. That means that these cells are very well balanced and matched. So it constantly changes which one is the highest, the lowest. And this is exactly what you want to see. You don't want to have one color at the top all the time leading the way to 3.45 volts or even higher than all the battery cells charging up consistently together. And this is exactly what we can see here, right? So we are at 54.4 volts pack voltage. We are still charging with 16 amps, 98.6% state of charge. Balancer is still not turned on. We have got only four millivolt deviation, so perfect. And we just keep charging until we um, see the 3.45 volts. Shouldn't take too long. We are very close to 100%. And then I'll be back and we have a closer look at what is going on. So while we are waiting for the battery to charge, uh, we can make an experiment and 
So this graph here shows all the 16 cells together, yeah, from this morning 8 a.m. until now uh, 2.30 p.m. And I have duplicated this graph, but this time I have but this time I have just left the cells in this graph activated, which we have tested before. Cell number 2, 6, 12, and 15 it was. And here you can see from this morning, cell number cell number 2 is the highest, and cell number 12, there's cell number 15, cell number 6. Here you can see when I move the mouse here along this graph, it changes constantly. So there's not one cell outstanding with the highest voltage all the time. It is constantly swapping the cells. And this is exactly what you want to have. So here in this graph, I cannot see that cell number two or six are the outliers anymore, as we have seen before. It's very consistent charging across all these four cells. Yeah, but all the cells are so close together, I cannot see that cell number two or cell number six have any increased voltage. It doesn't show this anymore. So we have now reached or even surpassed the 55.2 volts, which is a 3.45 per cell if they are all balanced. And they are balanced. The deviation is still at 9 millivolt across all these 16 cells. And the balancer hasn't even kicked in. It is still on zero. No balancing at all so far. So I have raised the uh, charge voltage from um, 55.2 volts all the way up to 58.2 volts. Yeah. This is like 3.64 volts per cell. You can see the requested charge voltage from the solar charge controller. But unfortunately, we've got some shading on the pull fan system. So we are charging only with 1.5 amps, which um, could be actually good because it gives the balancer time to balance the cells if necessary. So far, oh, here's the balancer now. We've got a deviation of around 10 millivolt. And this is the threshold I have set in the app as well. So everything under 10 millivolt is really not necessary to balance. But we can see the voltage rising here. Here as well, all 16 cells rising fast, 3.45. And then I've increased the voltage again. And now we can see they are spreading apart a little bit. Let me zoom into this last part here. There we can see it. So we are now at 3.46 volts. We've got here cell number 14. Cell number eight, cell number eight, six, six, fourteen, eight. So you can see that there's nothing to see, right? It is also not that cell number two and six are rising in voltage fast and reaching the 3.65 volts, the first of all the other cells. No? They're all in line with each other. Deviation is around 10 millivolt. But really, I would say these cells are 100% okay. The battery has now charged to 58 volts. It's still taking 1.5 amps, but the balancer is not even turned on. We are under 10 millivolt deviation, 3.63 to 3.62 volts. And here we can see the charge curve for the last couple of minutes. And we're now holding the 58.2 volts. And there's no difference across all these 16 cells. So they are 100% top balanced, 100% and we cannot see this strange behavior anymore uh, from cell number two and cell number six. The quick and early rise in voltage in comparison with the other cells we have tested. There we go, 58.15 volts. Balancer has just kicked in, but 10 millivolt deviation. Kicks in, turns off again. 100% top balanced and no issues with any cell. So from this perspective, we can assume that up north in person, I was actually right. So the battery actually, or the cells, or some of the cells actually needed a couple of cycles to fully chemically establish their performance. Let's put it this way. And none of these 16 cells are showing this early increase in voltage anymore, as we have seen in the individual testing we have done. So from there on, I would say I can fully recommend the battery cells from EVE delivered by Yi Xiang. So they seem to be very high quality, A-grade battery cells. Well, and if you haven't seen the video when we did the battery testing for these cells, when Yi Xiang sent them over to me, they were already here in the country. So obviously someone has ordered them and then canceled the order. So they were already here in Sydney and they just sent them over here for testing. And then we actually discovered that some of the cells are rising in voltage a lot earlier than other cells. But this is now all good. So I will include Yi Xiang as a reliable and 
a great battery delivery company. Add them to my website as well. But of course, to be 100% sure, we always need the feedback from the community, from you. So if you have ordered battery cells from Yi Yang before, please leave your comments down below. How good the performance was, how well they were matched. Have you had any issues with the order or delivery of these cells? Yeah, if you don't mind, share your experience down below. And potential new customers for Yi Yang are always keen to read reviews from other people. So yeah, I think we can finally settle the problem here with the um, EVE LF280K delivered by Yi Yang. No problems anymore. And I link these cells as well as the do-it-yourself box, which is one of the best on the market right now, down under the video as well. All right, my friends, I have read in some of the um, comments under the last couple of videos that there might be a problem with the new firmware version um, 15.30 for the JK Inverter BMS. That uh, float mode is not working anymore. So while I have this battery here fully charged, I do some more testing and see what I can find out. I'll make a separate video and let you know about this potential issue. So stay tuned for that. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for all your amazing support. Welcome to all the new subscribers here. And we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers now. Yeah, this is the finish line, basically. A huge milestone, thanks to your support. So um, thank you very much for that. And until the next video, guys, when we do something different. Ah, oh, no, I wanted to talk about the JK uh, potential issue with the float mode, yeah. Okay, until then, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye. The EVE LF 280K delivered by Yi Xiang. Ding. All good.